Joining me now from Edmonton is the Canadian Medical Association President, Dr. Alika LaFontaine. He's a practicing anesthesiologist in Grand Prairie, Alberta. Good morning, uh, doctor. And by the way, congratulations on your new appointment. Thank you very much. All right, let's begin with this survey. It's concerning. Nearly half of respondents are screening positive for depression. Does that surprise you? It doesn't, especially in what we've experienced over the last few years. It's interesting how cycles of resilience work. With each subsequent wave, it became really hard and much harder to continue to go to work and deal with the stresses. And I think what you're seeing today is an effect of things that have happened as far as healthcare cuts over decades, but then also these cycles where we've lost our resilience. Is the healthcare industry facing a mental health crisis? I think the, men the mental health crisis in healthcare is no different than the mental health crisis elsewhere. You know, the last few years have been really stressful for Canadians. You know, going to work and not having those good working conditions affects physicians just like anyone else in Canada. And the way that we repair those is actually by fixing those working conditions and creating that environment where people can have healthy workplaces and also healthy mental health again. What about mental health supports for physicians? Are there enough? So if, if we're seeing an escalation of mental health problems within the physician community and a lack of resilience, then I, I think that answer is, is probably no. Um, one of the things that we've really advocated for in the immediate response to this crisis is making sure that we create these incentives for people to go to work. And if you go to work with a high level of stress, an expectation that things will be very disorganized and chaotic, you know, patients are much more sicker now. They're much more upset for good reasons. They're waiting longer and longer for uh, receiving care, and we don't really have that space to provide that care nowadays. You know, it all creates a working environment that is not really amenable to people being healthy. You can go home and you can do your best to recover, but if you keep on coming back to these environments where you're stressed and you don't have the opportunity to build that resilience, it, it's really tough to move past this. So, Doctor, we know we've been talking all summer about our health care system being in crisis. What are your thoughts around that? This is the first opportunity I've had to speak with you um, on this program. Is hiring more workers to cover the shortages enough to alleviate some of the stress on the system and on our doctors? One of the parts of the conversation I really hope that Canadians get involved in is not forgetting that these systems, they're made up of people. And just like people, um, we need certain things in order to make sure that, that they stay sustainable. You know, we talk about a crisis, but the truth is we did make it through the pandemic. You know, we, we did have these stresses that kind of ebb and flow that, you know, brought us close to the breaking point. There are places in Canada across the country where things have collapsed, but are we going to move past the system and essentially move past people and move on to other things? Or are we going to take the time to rebuild, create better support? I mean, this is what we're calling for when it comes to changes that we're looking from government and leadership that we're looking from provincial and federal government levels. Dr. LaFontaine, he's the president of the Canadian Medical Association. Thanks so much for your time with us today.